Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekly's YouTube channel. Today we're at Williams Park Boat Ramp in Riverview, Florida, just outside of Tampa. And today we are going to be going and exploring Tampa Bay. We're gonna go check out Beer Can Island. We're gonna go see if we can find what we can find out going on downtown. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Make sure you stick around, check it out, hit that subscribe button, and let's go. So we are at Williams Park Boat Ramp. It's the, it's kind of busy here, but it is afternoon. We got a little bit of late start today. I forgot my hat today, so we're gonna be seeing a lot of hair. Got a lot of sunscreen going on up there, try to protect the bald spots. Um, but yeah, super excited about this area. We've never been here before, even though it's like the closest one to our house. So uh, I don't know why we haven't been here, but definitely looking forward to checking out the area. We've been over to Beer Can Island once before. We'll link that video down below, uh, but we're gonna see what else we can find out around the bay. Uh, let's see, I know there's a couple other islands. I'm not sure if we can stop at any of those, uh, but I'm also super excited to uh, go ride these jet skis downtown. So let's get going. All right, guys, like we said, we're here at the boat ramp. Uh, we're heading over to Beer Can Island today. Should be a good time. It's a busy day at the boat ramp and it is a windy day. So um, hopefully we'll be able to get there and get a spot on the, uh, on the beach, but we'll see. And yes, I know I have probably lotion on my face, but every time I rub it in, it hurts. So we're just gonna, it's okay. So if you don't like it, sorry about it. Let's go. And already there's a ton of wildlife here. I did see a turtle in the parking lot, although I didn't have a camera to get a photo of it. Uh, and Christine says she saw some stingrays. So we're gonna go see what else we can find. All right, so it is idle speed uh, to get out. I think this is the Manatee River. We we'll have to double check that. But uh, as we leave the dock here, we got a little bit of idle speed. So we're gonna finish getting ready, get our gloves on and head on out. There's tons of boats parked through here. There's a Lewis. Yeah, over there there is a uh, yeah, sunken sailboat looks like. Abandoned probably. It's a big problem in Florida. Um, you know, people upside down on the boat or something's wrong with it, they can't afford to fix it, so they just abandon it. And it becomes derelict and then, you know, we've got you know, just sunken boats. So Lewis said it's probably two different sailboats, but yeah, still, it's pretty, pretty bad. All right, guys, as soon as we pass that sign, it's 25 miles inside the channel. So let's go, uh, let's not go faster than that. Let's go. So we just left the boat ramp directly behind me. We're heading out to the, the bay is directly in front of me, but directly to the left is Apollo Beach uh, Tico uh, power plant. So that's a pretty neat place. You can go there in the wintertime. They have tons of wildlife that shows up. Uh, manatees, stingray, um, sharks, all kinds of different types of fish, jacks, tarpon, all kinds of neat stuff. Definitely a cool thing to do and it's free. So I know it's a power plant, doesn't really sound that appealing, but actually the waters right around it are full of life because they, they all come in in the wintertime because of the warmer water nearby. So we'll put a link in a video, we'll put a link in the description below where you can check out the video that we did on that place if you're looking for something free and fun to do around Tampa Bay in the wintertime. Hey guys, so there are three things that I want to accomplish today because we've never been in the area. Uh, number one is definitely want to check out Beer Can Island. Uh, it is lunchtime, but we did just have a little snack, so I'm not feeling too hungry. Maybe we'll save that for later. Two is I wanted to check out these other islands that are in the area. There are several. I know a lot of those have signs probably preventing us from getting to them, but I'm not sure what the signs say and I'm gonna find that out. And we'll see if there's any other spots we can tuck in. And three is I wanna head downtown Tampa and ride the, the Hillsborough River. So we're gonna start heading north Maybe he's checking out some of the islands as we go along the way, see what the signs say, uh, and, and go downtown and see what's going on down there. So let's go. All right, so we've come to the first set of islands here. 
and you can see they're not very friendly. There is a boat parked over there. But that sign there says caution breakwater area closed to public, so definitely not allowed over there. Again, looks like similar signs over here, but I see again somebody in there. I don't know if they're just breaking the rules or if we're allowed there or not, but definitely doesn't seem like you're supposed to be on the beach. So we keep going. So getting a closer look at those signs, they do say critical wildlife area. So it's nice that uh, the birds have a spot to go. There's plenty of birds over there. It looks like a super lush kind of island though. Would be really cool to check that out, but we're gonna keep on going. That one there, I believe is a landfill. Uh, I think there's at least two, at least two, maybe three landfills out here in the bay. It's surprising how many landfills there are around the Tampa area. But you can always spot them because everything else is flat. So if you see a mountain in Florida, it's probably a landfill. All right, guys, so the power plant's over there. The One of the big landfills is right there. Uh, but we did find this unique little spot. So it looks like there are a lot of people parked up here on the beach. So this is another beach spot besides Beer Can, which we'll get to later, that you can come and hang out on the beach, swim around. It definitely looks pretty shallow over there. I see a lot of boats kind of parked with people in the water. We're gonna cruise on up there in between those two islands, see what's going on, see how many people are out there partying on Saturday. Approaching Tampa, right over there is Davis Island. It's where all the uh, millionaires and billionaires of the area like to hang out. They got some pretty nice homes over there. Never, I yeah, been on the island. Uh, but we're gonna go check that out. Let's go see if we can find uh, Tom Brady slash Derek Jeter's old place. All right, so we just showed up here at Davis Island. We're on the hunt for for Tom Brady's old house. I don't think he lives there anymore. I think they've recently moved. Uh, but man, look at the size of some of these houses. They are massive. I can't imagine what these must cost. What do you do to be able to afford a house like that? I don't know. If we get like 5 million likes, maybe I'll buy a house and we'll find out. If I can get like 5 million subscribers, maybe we'll have that kind of money. I don't know. Ain't there yet, that's for sure. I don't know if it's that one. I know it's a modern white large house it's a very large white modern style house i don't think it's that one but i do see like some uh, interesting art over there in the front yard that's that looks like a pretty sweet pool up top too these guys got these little speed boats you can you can rent down there in uh in hillsborough river they look really sporty but i don't think they're very fast they're like really small engines on them oh there's a third one all right the more i look at it i'm thinking thinking it's that one that looks uh that looks more like what i've seen on the photos so i don't know let me know if you know maybe we'll try looking it up afterwards I, th I think it's that one i think it's the white one maybe i'll just keep pointing out every large modern style white house that i see and hopes that one of them is it so when we do confirm later we can just be like yeah that was it maybe it's that one right there <laughs> it would make sense that it's being renovated since he recently moved out I'm not really sure. All right, I think it is this one. This one is massive. Definitely large enough to fit Tom Brady and Derek Jeter's ego in that, in that massive castle. That thing is huge. It takes up like two and a half lots. Nice boat parked over there too. Right, so there it is. I mean, that thing is massive. All right, but we also see downtown Tampa in the not so far distance. That's where we're heading. Let's go to the Hillsborough River. Let's go. All right, guys, there's downtown Tampa. I really do like our city. It's pretty cool. Nice architecture.
so we're just entering downtown Tampa and here we've come across the Jose Gasparilla pirate boat so Gasparilla if you don't know it's like a big Mardi Gras like a pirate themed Mardi Gras that happens each February here in Tampa it's pretty awesome uh, and there's the Tampa General Hospital with the uh, life flight ambulance uh, helicopter so, helicopter's cool yeah, it looks like uh, this boat needs a little bit of wash though because you cleaned up So we made it to the top of the Tampa, of the Hillsborough River River Walk. Uh, so there's Armature Works directly behind me. So it's kind of like a like a market, a you know, restaurant, kind of trendy, retrofitted thing. It's pretty neat. That big log you just now seen it? All right. Christine's afraid of the log. But anyways, um, so it's pretty nice. I love walking the river walk. It's the first time we've done it by boat. Been wanting to do it for a, by boat for a long time. So it's pretty cool to see all those big buildings and uh, you know, all the people are having fun. They got all these little drinking things, which uh, if you can see, there's actually a motor on that. In my mind, that's cheating. I thought that this whole time I always thought they were pedal powered. They, that's what they say, but uh, they got a 50 horsepower motor on the back. So not really much to do up here. I don't think there's any place you can even really tie off if you wanted to go into one of these things. Like there's a there's a marina back there, but I, I think that's all private. So we're just gonna head on back south. I am starting to get a little hungry, so head on over, find a beach to hang out for a little bit, have some lunch, and that'll probably be about it for today. So let's go. All right guys, so we're wrapping up the Hillsborough River and now we're gonna head on south down to Beer Can Island. So let's go check out the bay. See Beer Can Island, get some lunch. And there's like two ways to get back out to the bay once you're in downtown on the water. So uh, make sure you guys are staying to the end of the video because the Relive app that we have tracking it will show you exactly where we went. Um, but I think we're heading towards the aquarium uh, and where the Port of Tampa technically is with the cruise ports and things like that. So let's go see what we can see. Uh, just kidding, we're not going past the aquarium. We are going in between. Look how clear that water is. 
about four feet deep. You can see right down, right on down in there. All right, guys. So we just got here to Beer Can Island. So we're gonna go explore it, check out the beach. We've been here once before, not that long ago, really, but it was uh, like an early Sunday morning or Saturday morning. Um, so there wasn't really much going on there, but now that it's midday, it, the place is in full swing. guys so here are your pro tips for jet skiing tampa bay i would say number one if you do park here at williams park boat ramp remember that it is five dollars to park and launch a boat here uh, but that does give you 24 hour access and you can purchase more you can actually do overnight if you care to here uh, but obviously not with the jet ski but maybe with the boat pro tip number two is if you're looking to party definitely beer can island is the spot to go plenty of things going on there during the weekend if you're looking for a more quiet uh, atmosphere there are a few islands just north of that we'll point put those in the map here so you can see where those are and they seem a little bit more restrained and pro tip number three is remember if you do go up the Hillsborough River most of it is minimum wake or idle speed so remember to check that throttle as you're going up that river so that's gonna do it for us today remember to like share comment subscribe let us know in the comments below what is your favorite place to jet ski if it's anywhere nearby maybe we'll go check it out and do a video on it love to hear about it and with that being said, we're out of here. Remember to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next weekend. So, so I think we're gonna cruise on up through here in between those two islands. We're gonna cruise on, so we're gonna cruise on up in there between those two islands, see what people are up to today. See how many people are out there partying on their Saturday night, Saturday day.